Hey, what's going on? We have another beautiful day all to myself, and so today I thought we'd do something a little interesting. I have a ton of beginners who have never ridden a motorcycle who ask my page all the time, what's a good beginner bike? And let's be honest here, this is the best beginner bike of all time. I'm joking. No, it is not. This is not a good first bike. But today I'm going to be going to a motorcycle dealership, a generic motorcycle dealership that deals in like Kawasaki's, Yamaha's, Suzuki's, more common brands than Ducati. I have a friend there and we're going to talk to him about what he thinks is a good beginner bike and something that you should start out with. And before I even start, I already know what the comments are going to be. No, I'm not buying anything. I obviously already have my favorite flavor of motorcycle. To me personally, I think Ducati's are making some of the best bikes in the game right now. So it's like, eh. but bikes like these could be really pricey. So I really only recommend bikes like these to people who have been riding a few years because dropping something like this in a parking lot, that would that kind of suck, man. But if you're just getting into motorcycles, this is probably going to be the video for you. So let's go check it out. I got a speed check on my microphone and it looks like they already got someone. So I think we should be good to get on the highway. No problem. Oh my God, Ducati, come on. There we go. <laughs> it's kind of my fault. I didn't push up hard enough. I'm a little nervous with how many cops there are right there. I'm like, they really got the whole department out on that one guy, didn't they? That sucks, man. Three cops for one guy. Come on, guys. Chill the fuck out. All right. After the most boring ride ever, because, of course, we're still breaking this bike in. Okay. I hate this kickstand. Come on. We've arrived at State 8 Motorcycles, and my friend Christian is right over there, and it looks like he's just finishing up a sale. So I should have figured that would be a little bit busy today, but we have not had many nice days, so I figured this is, like, my only day to do this. Last time I made a video talking about how cold it was, it was, like, 42 out. And everyone's like, oh, I ride in 20 degrees Fahrenheit. I'm like, sure you do, buddy. Sure you do. All right, bro, what's up? What's going on? How good you doing? Good to see you, bro. Good, good. All right, so I'm here. I'm trying to show people, like, good beginner bikes because, obviously, I don't have a ton of those in my personal garage. Okay. Um, and so if you had to pick a beginner bike, like, it's your first time riding, what would you pick? Never rode before. R1. Right here. R1, no. Christian, no. I, I told people, like, beginner bikes. I already made this joke with my V4. This is not what I'm trying to... Real beginner bikes. I'm not... <laughs> R3? R3, yes. Is this used or brand new? I didn't know that they were coming on white. That's kind of interesting. They have white and Yamaha blue now. This is probably like the most like TikTok beginner bike I've seen. Like I see a lot of people starting on either this bike or an R7. I like this because it has the inverted forks. It's a better suspension out of like the Ninja 500. And or yeah, the, I was going to say the Ninja 400 is another, or I guess the 500 now. Right. Is a lot. That's pretty popular too, but yeah, it's between like this, the R7, Ninja 400, or like the Ninja 650, I guess. But depends on how tall you are and how confident you are. A lot of people like these because they're just lighter, low to the ground. A lot of people don't know I actually owned one of these. Like back in the day, it was like my third or fourth bike. I had a blue 2018, 2019. I got rid of it after like a month because <laughs> I went from an FZ09 to this, and it was like I really missed the speed. So I don't recommend it as like a third or fourth bike, but like if you, you said beginner bike, these are kind of dope. They are, yeah. Um, Get a little that, bit of that flavor of like the bigger bikes because it looks more than what it actually is. Exactly. But. They don't exclude the new riders. And I think with this stuff, it's really important to walk before you run. No, for sure. It's it's a great way to get the right fundamentals of riding for, and not break the bank either. Actually, at a track day, I got passed by a Ninja 400 you know, and I was on a thousand cc super bikes. So. Yeah, your V4. Yep. Yep. <laughs> That's usually how it goes. I see an R7's right next to it. Yeah, this is a new color for 24. That one's sold though, so I don't... Taller, just like the R6. It has about the same seat height, but... Uh, they really did some freaky stuff with the colors this year. It is, all of it, all of the pink and blue are decals, so if you want to make it all gray, it is very possible. Have Come you on. ridden one? While he's off doing that, I just want to say I've never ridden an R7 before. I know that a lot of people talk good about them. I have owned an MT-07, which is basically the sibling to this bike, with the major differences being the seating position, clip-ons, ram, air, intake. It's probably a little bit more horsepower because of that, but not by much. And I'm not going to lie, these are kind of sick. I personally recommend, if you're trying to get into motorcycles, not a bad option. This is a bike that you can probably keep for a while, especially with how reliable this motor is. So as long as you do your oil changes and valve service intervals, like this motor would probably last forever. The motor would probably outlive the frame. <laughs> I'm completely honest with you. Did you hear what happened? No, what happened? Um, him, I, and three others were riding on Monday night, and the guy who works here was riding with us, and he died with us on Monday. I'm really sorry. What was his name? Johnny. Just got his ZX6. It was his third time out on it. And then, was it a car or was it? Speed and a car. Oh, yeah, that's probably just chain lube or that's whatever. Right, yeah. I mean, look at the exhaust on the other side. It's covered in chain lube. Yeah. Just All that power, off. baby. I was, I was taking the uh, Cuyahoga National Park on the way here. I was chilling yeah. out, like, pretty. Do quick road right there, that road. 
Oh. That's what I'm going to be hitting on the way back, dude. So butter on one of these. Oh, my gosh. I took the covers off, the engine covers off. Dude, the heat is so nice in this weather. I bet. Yep. <laughs> yeah, I got heated grips. I should have added those to mine. I still can. Especially in this weather, like, it's perfect for them. Yeah. They love they, they, they love the fucking cold, bro. I'm Actually, scared as fuck to ride right now. Just after that, I'm, I, it takes a while. It'll be a very different riding style when yeah, I come I back out. It'll be cool. very different. Wheelies are the best fucking thing ever, bro. <laughs> yeah. I see your progression. Your progression on that. Six nine eight, dude. Good. I love it. Oh my god, it's so much fun. Yeah, uh, that thing is that thing out. is sick. These are scary to wheelie with everything off, dude. They're either here or here. Well, this, I, I'm I'm doing the proper break-ins. I'm kind of oh, taking yeah, it easy on it, but. No, 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 really. You know what happened to Dawson's V4? What happened? Blew up with 400 miles on it. Are you serious? Rod through exactly. the block, dude. Ah! I know, man. I can't believe already, dude. I know. What <laughs> the, the fuck, dude? It was dude. doing top speed runs at 98 miles. These are, like, really, minutes. like, crazy good. You have really, like, no it way is. to describe it until you ride it, which sounds pretentious. It's true, though. It really is. Exactly like after, what you mean. This made the R1 feel like a 600. At least riding Frank's it V4S does. and then going back to my R1, I was like, dude, yeah. this feels we'll blame see how for that. We'll see how it is. That reputation. <laughs> Do we want to do a triumph? There's triumph sure. in your in your yeah, history, hit us with right? The, with a good starter bike for triumph, like the six sixty. They, they came out with the four hundred actually. That's right. Yeah. You guys have one. This is the twelve hundred speed twin. So here's the Scrambler four hundred. Wow, this is the first I'm seeing one of these in person. Cool looking. Mm -hmm. <laughs> I'm not gonna lie. They man. are fifty. The Scrambler's fifty six hundred, and the speed is right at five grand. Five grand for these? Yeah. That's I think it's sweet. honestly probably better value than the, uh, the Japanese 400s because... Honestly, yeah. And you get the real retro style and Triumph's build quality. All the paint is really nice. Is that an electronic throttle? No way. I think it is, actually. That's crazy. Yeah. So you get an electronic throttle. You don't get like a TFT dash or anything, but I don't think no. any of them have it. Nothing. At this price point. The new Ninja 500 SE does, but you're, you're over six grand for that bike. How light is that? Because that feels like nothing. I don't know the weight spec. Let's look. That feels like my 698. It does not... S oh, wait, wait, 395. Actually, that's way heavier than I thought it would be. What? <laughs> to keep the price low, I'm sure they had to use some steel on this bike rather than... Well, no, no kidding. I'm just, like, surprised. Very low to the ground because when I picked that up... That Very single. That's pretty powerful, too. 39 and a half horsepower. You get a pretty cool-looking bike. That's, that's pretty interesting. And then the Speed 400 comes with the uh, more road tires, a little bit lower seat height. More of a sporty type of... I wouldn't go off-road, but, like, it could. Like, S1000 quality, but, like, they're pretty good. For this price point, it's insane what they squeezed in. Not bad. I would love to test ride one of these sometime, but... Uh, I can get the demo one ready. Just, yeah, give me a couple days notice. Yeah. We have a demo one. Sometime in the summer. Not I want to ride my own cool. bikes today. I owned one of these. Whatever. I'm not going to talk You didn't have the best experience with it, did you? I will, uh, I'll make a, its own separate video about my experience with this, the brother to this bike, the double R, but... I'm not going to do it here and now. And um, with that 402 also, people need to know you get twice the warranty as any of the Japanese bikes. Two-year warranty comes with the Triumph. That is nice to have, especially uh, like... The Ninja and the R3 are one year, both yeah. unlimited mileage during the warranty period. I can't imagine, like, even for a Triumph, like, it's going to have too many issues because right. usually the low, strong, very weaker bikes, they don't have a ton of problems, which is nice, but... Yep. A lot more tech, a lot more horsepower, a yeah. lot more problems. <laughs> a lot more, more money, money, more problems. Yep. Anyway, bro. Hey, appreciate you... Uh, Absolutely. Good around. to see you. All right, so we just finished up talking about beginner bikes. Hope you guys learned something. Maybe check out a few models now. But, uh, I will say something I always tell people online when you're shopping for a beginner bike, always try to get something used. You can find a lot of those models that I just showed you guys online used for a lot cheaper than what you can get them brand new and always try to buy something in cash that you can fully afford because you don't really don't want to have these things financed and something you may not hear a lot is you want to check the insurance before you buy something because you never know sometimes you can buy something realize you can't afford the insurance and then you have something that you can't even enjoy because you have to have insurance to ride this thing is so crazy the clutch lets out so far bye guys Dude, this thing just wants to move. It's so crazy. Watch for the cars. Watch for this guy. All right, watch where we're going. Make sure there's no cars coming in. It's pretty cold out, so my hand, my nose is like blocking up every five seconds, and I can't breathe, and I sound weird. And I'm sorry, I'm not like a typical motor vlogger recording like everything I'm doing, like, riding around, because to me that's like that stuff's not really too interesting. Plus, there's already a million motor vloggers out there that already record the same stuff of just riding around aimlessly doing nothing. So I try to like throw in a little mission of stuff to do when I'm out. And after we went to the dealer, I don't really don't have anything else planned for the day but i keep the camera on just in case something happens because you never know get pulled over what's up mr harley man 
real cool over there. I'm out in the middle of nowhere, just trying to get miles on this bike. I just crossed over 300 miles on the V4, so we're getting there. Breaking service for this, I think, you're supposed to get like 700, but they'll do it as, they'll, they'll do the service as early as 500, which I think I'll do. I usually like to do my first services early, and then I do a second oil change around 1,200 miles, because to me, I feel like motors need like a second break-in. Like the first break-in, you go really easy, and then that second one, you go as hard as you can. You just beat on the bike. That way you get all the... Wow. You know, really, the wind is just, just going to push gas onto my tank. Really? I don't deserve that, dude. Ah, I'm sorry, this thing doesn't deserve it. Wow. Thank you. Pet, 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 pet. Yeah, scratch up my tank. Lovely. Gotta love it, man. She's not a garage queen. She gets ridden. When I can, at least. Everyone has been roasting me like, Oh, you're not riding the V4. Maybe you don't like it. I do like it. It's just that the weather hasn't been nice enough. I don't live in freaking California, man. It sucks out here. Oh, wait. So we used 2.5 gallons and almost 80 miles. So uh, reset that. Okay. So these bikes uh, don't have gas gauges. So you have to track gas consumption through like mileage. Which is not like the end of the world, but... Just gotta reset it every time you come to a gas station. I wear it to. I fuck clue. I don't know. Let's go to Kent or something. Girlfriend still isn't back from Florida yet, so I'm kind of like I don't know. Not a lot to do. Everyone's at work. I could go to another motorcycle dealership, but that, that, I think at that point I'm just harassing people. <laughs> yep, the suspension on this is pretty rough, but that's just because sport bike. Go all the way to Columbus. <laughs> I really want to finish up the braking miles on this. Yeah. I mean, I guess that's something to do. I mean, yeah, we could go to Columbus. It's like a two-hour trip. Something to do. Not much else to do today, and I need miles on this thing, so... Actually, yeah. It actually just occurred to me that we had a giant rainstorm that cleared all the salt off the road. But I don't know if Columbus did, so maybe it's not such a good idea to go to Columbus because they could have a lot of salt on the road. And that would not be too good. So don't mind me, I'm just taking a quick little photo. Get some stuff for Snapchat. I think that's good. Don't mind me, I'm just in the middle of the road. Yeah, I guess we'll go to Kent or something because I know Kent got part of that rain, so I'm just not comfortable going all the way to Columbus when the weather isn't perfect, so. Which, I mean, it is perfect, but it's cold, and I don't know if Columbus had the salt wiped off the road yet, so. Did we just get honked at? What? Oh, is it James? Is that James? I have no idea. <laughs> it, was, it was my buddy. He's coming. <laughs> I don't know who this, this is. This is a kid. This was a kid when we were at the bar, and he wanted R6. Oh yeah. Jimbo! I was a Hellcat right here. Dude, I'll drag him with the X5. I don't know what the fuck I'm doing. I think I'm, I'm gonna chill and bet on basketball and shit. I'm gonna be out, but I don't know where I'm gonna be. Jimbo. I'll see ya. I might come out later. Just let me know. Was he revving his SUV? I know him. Literally, he was one of the first people. I ever met when I moved here. It's so funny. I thought he was honking at me. I was like, I thought I was the one who was recognized. I need to get a flavor of it though. Never had the green. How is it? Damn. This is amazing. Damn, fucking destroyed it. Oh, yeah. yeah. Let's, 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 let's start flying, y'all. <laughs> My bat, dude, this fucking Enduro battery lasts forever. I'm still at like 60%. I wouldn't mind Insta if they had a fucking... Plus, a big thing for the GoPro for me is like having that unlimited cloud storage because especially in the winter, I need that shit. This winter, all the time, I'd go back in time and fucking reuse old footage or like re-edit viral videos that I know will do well. I think GoPro is definitely behind right now in the terms of quality, but there's no way they just sit on their laurels and let Insta take over because... All right, sorry I didn't record much of the ride, but like I said, recording rides is kind of boring, so... As Ryan pulls up, what's up, bro? Hi. But finally finished the raking miles on this bike, so now we can have a lot of fun. So thank you guys for sticking around for the whole video, and I will see you guys in the next one. See ya.